girl a and b.byrd and i'm back with a, another video so as y'all can tell by the title i'm gonna be installing another wig for y'all now nothing is wrong with this wig i just don't like how i installed it at the top like how my lace look so i'm gonna be changing it now the hair company that provided me with this wig is called bgm girl hair um black magic black magic girl and this is how their logo looks so, I ordered a 30 inch. They sent me a 26 inch. I'm not getting it because, how you get that mixed up? But it's okay. I got a 26 inch. That's not really much longer than this hair. I think this is 30 inch, but I'm not sure. But I'm gonna show y'all here. It's some good quality hair top. Before we get into it, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Turn on y'all post notification bells so y'all can get notified when I post. Cause it's not on schedule right now, so y'all need to know when I post. But without further ado, let me show y'all the wig. I haven't um, plucked it yet or nothing like that. I'm gonna show y'all me doing all of that. I don't really spend too much time plucking or none of that because most of my wigs come pre-plucked already or like, you know, it'd be like HD laces, so it don't be that bad. You just gotta put a little makeup under it and you're really good for the most part. So, let me show y'all the wig. This is the wig it looked like a jet black to me and i don't know jet black i feel like it makes me look mean because it's just so dark but this is how it looks you feel me it's very it's very soft i don't know why there's some good there's some good quality here there's some good quality here. um that but i really don't know because i kind of don't want to take this wig out because this hair is good too let me show y'all. Let's see how it just, like it just flows. I don't even know. I think, yeah, I um winded this hair. That's why I look like this. But it probably looked the same. I'm gonna put a middle part because when I change my wigs, I don't like to do the same part just because I just had that part. And my hair is already braided, so I don't really have to do much. I'm just gonna um take this off, prep the wig, lay the glue, lay it down. And I'm gonna show you how I do all that. Cause a lot of people been asking for an installation video on my wigs. And yeah, I've been installing them by myself now. I usually let my mom install them, but I started doing it by myself because it's not really that hard. Honestly, anybody can really do it. It's a wig, it's already made. You just gotta put it on. Okay, so y'all, I cleaned up the glue. That was on my forehead, but I have to put on the bonnet because my forehead kind of big. Okay, I'm just, I'm not gonna do that. My forehead is big. But let's prep this wig. Okay, first off, I cut off the lace on the back because I don't really, if I wear my hair up in a ponytail, I don't put it up to where I have to lay, to where I have to lay this lace down. So, I'm gonna cut that off. cut off okay it's like it's four clips one at each corner i cut off the one in the middle because that's where my braid is so i don't be using it so cut that thing off okay and that's all i do for the inside of the cap and i put my um these little elastic band thingies, I put it on the second to the closest one because um, I like it pretty tight in the back to where it don't move because I put it underneath my braid. So, I So, I'm gonna put on a mannequin head just so it could be more stable and I can see what I'm doing. Okay, don't talk about me. Yes, I'm sitting on my floor. And what about it? So y'all, this is my mama can man mannequin. Um, don't talk about her. I know her lashes clicking. It's okay. But yeah, this how I look on a mannequin. Uh, I should have dyed this hair, but ain't nobody got time for that. So I'm just gonna 
you know how it is. Now, I don't know how I want to part it still. Actually, I should be doing this on my head so I can see where it is at, where it actually is anyway. Yeah, gotta be hard. And I'm gonna use a hot comb to um, lay it down because it's not parting good. So I'm using a hot comb so you can see the actual part. Okay, so I'm gonna install it on my head because that mannequin head is not working. Okay. Cause I'm kind of feeling sleeveless. Okay, so yeah, I like it. I kind of still want to do it. Side part though, just because I like my side part. So. See, y'all think a side part or middle part? This hair is ooh, y'all. This hair is this some nice. This some nice hair. Kudos to whoever sent me this. This some nice hair. <sighs> Should I do a side part though? Middle part. I feel like I'm gonna be putting it up a lot because that's what you do in middle part. Yeah, I think I like the side part better. I'm gonna do a side part. I just took out a side part. But I want to do it on this side because my bar is on this side. I've been doing my parts on this side. And my bar has been, like, hurting. So, I'm going to have to... No, I'm going to have to... Uh, switch the sides. Because I told him that we put that shit behind us, but I lied. Hey, hey. Oh, yeah. I need some plucking. Y'all can't even see... Y'all can't even see the line. Okay, now to help me out, I'm gonna use the hot comb to uh, lay it down so I could actually see what I'm doing. This is my hot comb. Um, got it from www.bundlesbybarbie.org. They have all the colors. I just got the pink because it kind of looked purple, and my favorite color is purple. I should have got the purple one, but pink one will do. This thing get hot fast. It's already hot, y'all. Okay, now I'm gonna use a wax stick just to lay it down even more. Cause I don't need this coming up. I'm trying to have this on for a little minute. Also, my wax stick is from www.bundlesbybarbie. So, yeah, I put too much out. And I use this for all my wigs. I use the same wax stick. So. And the heat from the hot comb gonna melt the wax in to really make it lay down. So, yeah, I don't think a lot of people know that. A lot of people just be putting wax on their head and then walking out the house. But baby, you gotta, you gotta melt it. You gotta melt it in. I'm trying to tell you. Let no one come and take your place. Cause the love you give. And don't worry about how white the lace is. Once I put the makeup on it, it's not gonna look white anymore. That's I need some mousse though. It's funny when I'm done. Okay, so this part already low key looking good. And it's a side part, y'all don't get on me. Um, so I'm just gonna get some tweezers and get to tweezing, baby. Now, when I tweeze my wigs, I, um, I just, okay. So the, the part I made, I literally just tweezed by that, but make sure you don't bald it to where there's nothing there. Just, just pluck the part you want and around the hairline. Personality, everything. 
everything you do Makes me love everything about you Your smile, your style, so fly I can't deny, I got a crush on you That's true to me, and I'm digging you Now, the way I was taught, my mama taught me how to do this My mama been doing my hair like my whole life So I kind of learned from her how to do this so if I'm not doing something right, y'all can put it in the comments. I'm gonna be mad. Don't say it too aggressive. Uh, don't say it too aggressive, you know. But y'all could tell me you feel me things that I could have did differently or you know better steps to um to help them. Okay, now I gotta do the front face of me so I can see what I'm doing. But I'll turn around for y'all to see. Now, like I was saying, most of my fronts already come plugged. This is, this is kind of plugged, but I'm just going to do a little bit more because I like it a little bit more natural. my hair back so I can lay the cap on and then I'll pick up from there. Y'all gonna sit here and tell me it's not giving scalp. Y'all gonna tell me it's not giving scalp. I need to pluck a little bit more in here cause it's coming too cool. So that's what I'm gonna do. But literally all I did was take, I think this is a, this is either a bronzer or a um, cream foundation. I'm not sure which one it is, but I literally took this and a brush and patted it on the lace. And yeah, as y'all can see, this is my skin tone, so make sure I use y'all skin color. Uh, this is what it says on the back. It says Ruby Kisses Level 10. I'm not sure what it is. This is my mom's. I just she just always uses it, so I be using it too. Um, so I'm just gonna plug some more right here, and and it's pretty good right here. So yeah. Just gonna make this look more natural. I got this part done Now, I know this had a lot of negative stuff going on about it, about this glue, but it actually works pretty good for me. At one point, it did pull out my edges, but it does work good. You just have to know how to take it off and you can't rip it off. That's one thing I had to learn the hard way because, yeah, I was, I was young. Um, but this is the one I used, the Ghost Bond. Can y'all even see? I don't know, but it's the Ghost Bond Classic. And I'm literally gonna put it around the dots. I just put on my hair. Now, I'm just gonna blow dry it until it turns clear. Once it turns clear, it's time to go. Okay, so this is the hardest part for me. Now that the glue is dry down, I have to pull it down and try to align it with where I put the glue. Now, as y'all can see where I wanted it to stop. I don't know what this black stuff is right there, but it's too late to go already on there. I'm not taking it off. Now, I'm, you're gonna need an elastic band to lay it down, your hot comb, and your wax. down on there because this glue is doing the same thing but just to help it kind of brush it back Now my elastic band, I did have a thicker one, but I don't know where it went, so we're gonna just use this one. And we're gonna put it right where I put that glue on at. Uh, uh, oh, oh, okay. Okay, now that I got the wrap on, I'm gonna give it like 
a minute or two to dry. Um, I really just want to make sure that it's all clear, make sure there's no white lumps in it because that tends to happen to me a lot because I'd be rushing the drying process, but you can't rush it, okay? And I just hit it with the hot comb again at the top so it could be laid or what's not. And yeah, once this dries, we're gonna cut the lace off and we're gonna wrap it one more time. And then we're gonna do the edges and then we're gonna wrap it one more time and then we're gonna be done. Okay, so now that all the glue's completely dry, um, it's a little white right here, but It look pretty good to me. I mean, okay. mm -hmm. Um, so now I'm gonna cut it and make my edges. Let's see, this is the hardest part for me. Y'all always had a fear that when people like when I was younger and I used to get wigs and they used to cut this part, I used to always think they were gonna cut my my actual skin. Oh no, I just was a scared cat. too much the wigs and I like to put this part behind my ear. I think I put it too far down. But it's alright. Okay now we got my edges. I don't know. I don't really like too much edge either because I don't like it to look like bulky and Okay, 
I feel like that looks better. And I'm gonna put one soup like right here. Again, so the edges don't move. But I'm gonna wet it so it don't look so poofy. Been tosses like July, niggas acting like I died. They won't be expecting shit when Capo go to slide. Cause I told them that we put that shit behind us, but I lied. Hey, hey, look who I'm around, man. If I fuck up, I'm gonna be downtown, man. Full flow down, man. That's if I get caught, man. Push me to the edge so it really ain't my motherfucking. So I'm gonna wrap it one more time just to make sure. Everything is. Oh wait, I thought to do my ear part over here. Play myself. Hold on. Really, anybody can install a wig. It's just about the wig you get. You can't get no. You feel me? Be down wig and expect it. I mean, some people be slaying a wig, okay? Um, but with me, like the more high quality wigs you get. The better, I mean, the easier it is, it is to um, install. Go to slide, cause I told him that we put that shit behind us, but I lied. Okay, so now I'm just gonna take my wax stick and I like to put, I'm gonna show y'all. It's like a certain way I like my little hump to be when I do a side part. So I just put a whole bunch of wax right here, right? Right, right, right. Then I take my hot comb. Hopefully it's on, it's on. Okay. And I go straight back with it. Squeeze it. Straight back. So now that I got the wax on it, I comb it back and then I bring it back up. And everybody don't gotta do this, everybody don't like their hair like this, but that's just something that I like to do with my hair. And so it looked like this. Hold on, because I did this kind of good. But y'all see. Y'all see it, y'all see it, don't play. <laughs> That's literally how I install it. And ladies, when y'all go to sleep, wrap your edges. If you want your edges to look like it's coming out the scalp every day, wrap your edges. Literally, it's not even a dollar at the hair store. You can use an elastic band. This would I prefer. This, I feel like this works the best. Or you can use like a scarf material. This is the one I really use. But if you want the best results, I recommend the strap. But yeah, that's the video for today. Um, make sure y'all like, comment, and subscribe. Don't forget to turn on your notification bell. Um, I'm supposed to be doing another video tomorrow. But I'm not going to tell y'all what it is. Because y'all got to put on y'all notification bell so y'all can get notified. I'm not telling y'all. I'm not telling y'all what it's going to be. But just know. Well, I think it's going to be. Good. And yeah, y'all could drop in the comment section, which I want to see next. Cause I think I say this. And yeah, we out this thing.